guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video here on Nasha Vlogs. Today is another uh, Halloween speculation video. Obviously, I did a speculation video uh, yesterday uh, on Alton Towers Scarefest uh, and what their lineup could be with social distancing in place. Uh, if you've not seen that video, go check it out. Uh, but today we're doing another uh, social distance um, speculation video. But today we're doing four park fright nights. So, um, yeah. So just like with the Alton Towers one, we're going to take it, things we're going to take into consideration is what was on the lineup in 2019. But another thing we're going to take into consideration, which is different to the Alton Towers one, is we're not going to take Living Nightmare into consideration in this uh, lineup because we already know Living Nightmare has left the park and is, and so it will be replaced by Black Mirror Labyrinth in 2021. So Living Nightmare will not be a part of this speculation. So let's kick straight in. So the first maze we're going to speculate on is Platform 15. Uh, platform 15 can be found in Old Town, uh, around the back. Well, the start of the maze is in Old Town. Last year, it used um, timber tugboats, queue line, and a bit of um, where Dead Creek Woods was in 2018. Uh, and the maze would then run from where the uh, old Canada Creek Railway Station platform was and run all the way down and you'd exit next to Samurai uh, and near Saw. So, Platform 15 is an outdoor maze, so it could go ahead. However, there's two elements which could factor in why the maze couldn't return or could not return. Firstly, the village. Now, Platform's been at the event since 2016. In 2016, it was regarded as a really bad maze just due to there was no village scene. It was literally walk down the path, walk past the train, go round, straight down to the tunnel. And it had two different scare factors. I think it still does. I think. I'm not too sure. But, yeah, and then in 2017 they added the village. And then last year they added a new ending to the tunnel. Now the village scene, because it's indoor and because there's a little bit of tight corridoring, if platform was to return, they would have to take the village. No, they, 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 there's two things they could do. Number one, they could keep the village scene, but replace the actors with audio, and let the atmosphere of that do it by itself. So that means the pub would invest in having to put more speakers down that path. Or the second thing is they don't use the village scene. They demolish the village scene and it goes back to what it was in 2016. Which I know a lot of us do not want. A lot of us do not want it to go back to what it was before. So if anything, I think the option they're going to go for is just replace it with audio and let the atmosphere do the scaring. But then the second factor is the tunnel, which is a dark or what a lot of us call bin bag tunnel because in previous years nothing happens really now because in the past they put actors in there with torches and it's very tight it's a tight corridor they would have to get rid of the tunnel which means two things could happen a if they were to get rid of the tunnel completely it would mean that the maze would be very short. Instead of it being up to 10 minutes, it would probably be five or six minutes. Well, the other thing they could do is they could do the Tom scene, but with no actors, and that the scene at the end is all done automatically on a timer. So with that in mind, do I think Platform 15 is gonna come back? Yes, I think Platform will come back for 2020. So the next maze we're going to speculate is Blair Witch. Now, uh, Blair Witch last year 
used uh, the Jungle Escape queue line, and it used the same route as 2018, so you'd start off round the back of Jungle Escape, or at the time, what was Vulcan Peak, and you go around, you'd go around, go through the woods, going up towards Nemesis Inferno, and you would exit, going up a, uh, you'd use Nemesis Inferno's exit path as your exit. Now, once again, Blair Witch is an outdoor maze, so it could work. However, one of the main factors about it potentially not working or not coming back is the shed at the end. Now, the shed at the end is what makes Blair Witch Blair Witch. The shed is always the best bit, and I will happily stand by that because I always enjoyed the shed. Seen it. Um, I've had quite a few intense on throughs. I've been uh pushed about i've been pinned up against walls and stuff and it's absolutely insane uh the only thing is with blair which once again with platform because all the bushes are really close together and you have to push your way through it would be hard for them to put actors in there and for the actors to social distance so taking that into consideration they would have to just like platform install a hell of a lot more speaker system and it would all have to be speakers. However, the only problem you have then is that it may uh, Blair Witch may end up going back to what it was when it first ever came back to the park in 2013, which where it was literally just walking down the path, the odd actor, maybe one or two actors, and then the shed being the most intense bit. So taking that into consideration, do I think Blair Witch will come back? Yes, I think Blair Witch will come back. For 2020. However, I think this year may be Blair Witch's final year. So, the next maze we're going to speculate on now is The Walking Dead Do or Die. Now, I'm going to say this now if Walking Dead Do or Die was to come back for 2020, it would be the only Walking Dead maze left on park. Because Living Nightmare has now left the park, we've lost The Walking Dead maze. So, for those who've never done Walking Dead, do or die, it's it's a hard one to speculate on with social distancing because it's indoor and outdoor. Some of it takes place inside containers, some of it takes place outdoors. So, I think, if anything, they could bring it back with the shipping containers. However, there may be one actor, if that. Um, and with the outdoor sections, and especially with the bits they added last year, that finale scene they had last year, which was pretty good, I'm not going to lie, and got me a couple of times. May, I don't, I don't think we'll see loads of actors in there, but I think, if anything, Walking Dead Do or Die would maybe be one of the minimal, probably the only indoor maids with actors this year. So taking that into consideration, do I think Walking Dead Do or Die is going to come back this year? Yes, but with a lot of changes. So the next one we're going to talk about is their paid escape room experience called Containment. Now, I've only done Containment in 2018. I missed out on it last year. But I'm going to say this straight off the bat. I don't think Containment's going to come back. Now, there's a reason. Fort Park have confirmed that they will not be opening any indoor attractions due to government guidelines. So, with that in mind, I don't think containment's going to come back because it would they wouldn't be able to have actors in there and it would just be boring. It, you would just be solving puzzles inside a container and it would be so boring and no one would want to do it. So, personally, I don't think containment is going to come back for 2020. Now, I'm going to briefly talk about something that was at the event last year, which was Terror at Amity High, which in 2018 was a roaming actors area down on uh, the Stealth Plaza, and then last year it was back on Stealth Plaza with a little bit of roaming actors, but with a stage show as well. Now... Do I think 
Tara Amity High or the show which was Tara Amity High High School Sucks. Do I think that's going to come back this year? I think the show will. I think the show will come back. However, it may have like a fenced off area so people can't get too close. In all honesty, I do think Terra Amity High will come back now for its third year at Fort Park Fright Nights. Now, it's time for the maze that it's hard to speculate on what is going to happen with it this year. And that, of course, is what was one of the best mazes at the park last year, Creek Freak Massacre. Now, Creek Freak Massacre was located in Old Town and is located in the old Loggers Leap station. I loved Creek Freak Massacre last year. I had some really insane runs through there last year. One of them I ran into a fence and actually nearly broke my nose. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but do I think Creek Freak Massacre is coming back? Well, based on what it was last year, I know a lot of you who are watching want Creek Freak Massacre to come back and I'm one of them people I really want Creek Freak Massacre to come back this year but considering it's an indoor maze and it's quite confined in there and stuff it wouldn't feel the same firstly the section at the start where you've got good wood or bad wood they would only use the bad wood section I think Uh, no, they wouldn't use the crawl section because of people touching. And also there would be a huge reduction in actors as well. You know, and I think there wouldn't be many chainsaws. I think we would just get the one chainsaw finale. And if anything, we would get a really reduced cast. So if anything, do I think Creek Freak Massacre is going to come back? Yes. I think Creek Freak Massacre is going to come back, however it will be a very tame version, unfortunately. So, that's the end of the video guys. So, as I've said, this is what I think will be coming back, or what the lineup for 4 Park Fight Nights 2020 with social distancing in place will be. This year, the lineup I I'm speculating will be Platform 15, Blair Witch, Walking Dead Do or Die, Creek Freak Massacre, and Terror at Amity High. That is what I think is going to be there this year. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you agree with my with my lineup, or do you think I'm talking a lot of balls? Anyway, thank you very much, everyone. I've been Nasha. This has been another Halloween speculation video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace out.